Hello everyone. In this video, we have this nice exponential equation. We have 3 to the power x squared plus 9 to the power x squared is equal to 27 to the power x squared. And we have to find all the real solution to this problem. But before we begin, as always, pause the video and try first. And if you are new here, consider subscribe and also don't forget to like this video. Now let's get started. Now this equation is also the same as 3 to the power x squared plus, now I'll write 9 as 3 to the power 2 or to the power x squared. And this is equal to 27 is also the same as 3 to the power 3 and the whole thing is to the power x squared. Okay, now from indices, if I have a to the power m or to the power n, this is the same as a to the power n or to the power m. Okay, so I can write this equation as 3 to the power x squared plus 3 to the power x squared or to the power 2 is equal to 3 to the power x squared or to the power 3. Now I will let y equals 3 to the power x to the second power. Okay, so this equation becomes y plus y squared is equal to y cubed. Now equating everything to zero, we have y to the third power minus y squared minus y is equal to zero. Now from here, let's factor y out. So we have y into y squared minus y minus one is equal to zero. So this implies that y is equal to zero or y to the second power minus y minus one is equal to zero. And initially we said 3 to the power x squared is equal to y. So this implies that 3 to the power x squared is equal to 0. So let's find x from this equation. Now looking at this equation critically, you can see that there's no way the left hand side will be equal to the right hand side. If x is equal to 0, you can see that this side is 1. If x is equal to 2, you can see that this side is 81. And if x decreases, this one will also decrease but will never get to 0. So this equation cannot be solved. Now let's focus on this equation. So we have y to the second power minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. Comparing this one with the general quadratic equation, which is ay squared plus by plus c equals 0, where a is never 0, you can see that a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 1, and then c is also negative 1. Okay, now let's go ahead and then plug these values into the quadratic formula, which is y is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, so we have y is equal to negative negative will be positive so we have 1 plus or minus square root of b squared is 1 then negative 4 times a times c that is positive 4 all over 2a so we have 2 over here right now simplifying this we have y is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2 okay so we have y is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 or y is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Now let's consider this one first. From here you can see that square root of 5 is greater than 1. So it will make this whole thing negative. But since we are looking for real solution, we are not going to put this one into consideration. So let's focus on this equation. So from here we have 3 to the power x squared is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. All right. Now let's go ahead and then take log in base 3 on the both sides of the equation. So we have log 3 to the power x squared in base 3 is equal to the log in base 3, 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Okay, now I'm going to move x squared to the back here. So we have x squared 
log 3 in base 3 is equal to log in base 3, 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2. Okay? Now this whole thing is 1, so we have x squared is equal to log in base 3, 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Okay? Now, since we are looking for x and not x squared, let's go ahead and then take square root on the both side of the equation. Okay? So, we have plus or minus here. This square will cancel the square root. Now, we have x is equal to plus or minus square root of log in base 3, 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Okay? And this means that is either x is equal to square root of log in base 3, 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, or x is equal to negative square root of log in base 3, 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Okay? If you punch this whole thing on a calculator, You'll be getting approximately 0 0.662 then this side you'll be getting approximately negative 0 0.662 so you can go ahead and then test these values on your own to see whether they satisfy the equation i hope you enjoyed watching this video please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel thanks a lot for watching see you again on the next video